This video content is not intended for children. <laughs> Realistic fishing. Thank you, man. I love the channel, by the way. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's crowded over here at Dog Park, and I'm here to see if I can catch fish on Nightcrawler. There's a guy in my spot over there, so we're just gonna fish over here by the boat ramp. We're fishing with night crawlers and or pieces of night crawler. These have been in my refrigerator now for weeks. Same ones I used way back in that night crawler video. I just put them in the refrigerator. They live a long time. Using a realistic rig, we got some pinch on sinkers and a Aberdeen hook up here tied on with a Palomar knot. I'm really not sure if there are any fish over here or not. This might be a quick trip. And besides, it's kind of cold and windy. Anyway, let's see what happens. Hopefully I can find a fish and not a million snags. Is that a fish? No, if it is, it's tiny. I thought I may have had a bite though. Let's just get it back out there and find out. Dang it, I just realized my hook is upside down. I do not want that. So what I'm gonna do is remove these weights. Now I'm gonna run the line back through the eye of the hook. There, now it's standing upright. Hopefully that'll help my hookup ratio. Let's put the weight back on. Get a new worm on there. So yeah, I'm using like, I don't know, a quarter of a night crawler. If you use too much, the bluegill will just steal it and you won't be able to hook them because your bait's so big. If you use too small of a piece, they might not even see it at all. So, you know, half inch to an inch that's a good panfish size for me let's keep trying thought i may have had a bite we'll see hopefully changing the hook will help my hook up fish really small <laughs> yeah just a little guy. I'll take that. There he is. Four inch bluegill. It's something though. That's number one. This is Mark Pickett from The Fishing Magician. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh, that was a good one. All right, let's try it again. Little bait stealers. Dang. Still got my little piece of worm on there. There's some there's some tiny fish down here. Got that one. Feels like a tiny one once again, four inch or Yep, pretty much the same as that last one. Catch of the day.
little nibble. These fish are just going to steal the bait every time. Here we are. Got a nice little weighted float here, kind of a teardrop shape. We're going to fish it about two and a half, three feet deep to start. And we'll adjust from there if we do or don't get any bites. Tiny bite. What's up guys, this is Jordan from Dude Fish TV and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Got that one though, another small fish. So far the catch of the day, five inch bluegill Gonna have to write home and tell my mom about this one. That time I got one, another small one, four incher. Seems to be all that's down there right now. This guy, him and his twin brothers. Man, there's a million people here doing shit right now. Even more boats headed in this way. Got this boat full of guys. Hi, I'm Sherry. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, I'm over here at Skeletor Park. I got a few minutes left. It's almost dark, but I want to see if I can catch anything over here. All right, let's see if we can find something over here. Wow, that bobber is hard to see. I can see one thing though, it's not going under. go out on the dock over here and try by those trees on the other side. Over here at Skeletor Park, this is really shallow. This whole creek here, three, 
maybe four feet at the most. So when it's cold outside, this water is cold. When it's warm outside, this water warms up quickly. Since it's not the warmest day, this might not be the best spot, but we'll see what happens. At least I can see my bobber over here. Might have to get it a little bit further under the trees though. There we go, let's try that. I don't know if I'll be able to see my bobber out this way. Yeah, just barely. I'll be happy to catch one fish over here. Skeletor Park, not on my favorite places to fish in the winter. Springtime though, this will be a good spot. Just too cold over here. All right, I'm gonna walk down the bank just a bit. Fingers crossed I can find something. So this is why I pretty much stick to trout fishing in the winter. I like catching bluegill and all, but I don't like standing out here freezing and not getting any bites. I'll definitely be going trout fishing next time. Yeah, I can see the remnants of last year's weeds over here. We'll see if there's any fish around. Come on, not even a bite? Yeah, not even a bite. Last cast and then I'm out of here. Unless I start catching them, but I don't think so. The water in the sky look nice, so there's that, but the fishing over here at Skeletor Park really sucks. I haven't even had one bite yet. I really don't want to leave empty handed, so just one more cast for real this time. One more and then I'm out of here. Come on, just one fish. Is that too much to ask of Skeletor Park? Just one fish. Just a bite, anything. Anything other than a snag. I'll just look at the sky again for a few minutes before I go, because this is the best part. All right, time to go. Nothing over here at Skeletor Park. The moon looks nice though, but it's getting dark and cold and I gotta go. What's up everybody? Fatboy Dan here from Fatboy Dan's Great Outdoors. Y'all already know you're watching Realistic Fishing and just remember to always keep it realistic. Well, that's it for today. I went to two different fishing spots. The first one was much better. I was catching four and five inch bluegill on gulp and live worms. It got crowded over there, so I came over here to Skeletor Park. Not even a bite. But I do have this nice sunset, and that's what we're gonna end off on. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.